just a shot in the dark here, but I'm guessing it isn't working out with you and the fireman? <laughs> Gee, what tipped you off? <laughs> Show's over. Back to your seats. Nothing to see here. No. Nope. Do you want to tell me what happened? Apparently, I wasn't the only raging inferno in San Francisco. <laughs> Seems he's been putting out fires all over town. Oh, no. oh, Vicky, I'm sorry. Twelve steps to a perfect relationship. Even you can get a man. The rules, Vicky. Oh, geez, the rules. <laughs> you don't need all this. Excuse me, but for some of us, attracting a man is more than just a matter of, oh, showing up. <laughs> and the smell of burnt rubber hangs in the air. So I take it you're not unkinking Sparky's hose anymore. <laughs> sure, make jokes. You're wearing natural fibers. I've got matches. You'll go up like a nautical flare. <laughs> you know, Vicky, these self-help books never work. All they do is prey upon the insecurities of desperate women. Anybody could write one. I mean, we could. So why don't you? You want us to write a self-help book? No, a parody for the magazine. I love this idea. It's clever, it's smart, it's current. Who thought of this idea? <laughs> That's right, I did. Are you finished? Only if you agree to do the article. Well, as much as I hate to encourage you, it could be fun. What do you say, Vicky, huh? Come on, you're already angry and bitter. You might as well get paid for it. <laughs> Works for me. Me too. <laughs> Todd, what are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> Twelve steps to a perfect relationship. So your slump continues. Huh? <laughs> It's not a slump, it's a, it's a lull. A long, excruciatingly painful lull. Look, Luis, I've got to do something. The only women I've had in my apartment lately are the girls from Friends. And they refuse to come out of the damn TV. <laughs> ah, a lull. Yeah, I haven't had one since, uh, what do you know? I never had a lull. <laughs> of course you haven't. That's because you've got that accent. Anything you say is going to sound sexy. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> There's more to the magician than simply the one. You see, that makes no sense at all. But if I were a woman, I'd be naked right now. Okay, first thing we need is a catchy little title. How about, men, keep the sperm, toss the rest. <laughs> Good, but I think we need something with a little less bio. Um, how about men, keep the sperm, Recycle the rest. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was fun. Now how about something we can actually use? Oh, okay. All right, I've got it. The ways and means of catching your man. How to snag him, bag him, and snap on the twist tie. <laughs> I think we have a winner. Um, all right, okay, now we need some really pretentious author names to go with the title. I'll be uh, Mrs. No, no, no. I'll be Dr. Cherise Phillips. PhD, married and educated, career and family. Why, Sharice, how do you do it? <laughs> then meet your esteemed colleague, Dr. Miriam Pinky Weisenhofer. <laughs> educated yet squeezably soft. Louise. Mother, you're wrong. I'm not wrong. You're, you're no. wrong. I'm sweet mother. And I'll prove it to you. Watch this. <clears throat> uh, Excuse me, but uh, could I trouble you to pass me that bowl of pretzels? That's no trouble at all. Uh, sweet mother, you have exquisite eyes. Thank you. My name is Pam. Pam. Pam, Pam, Pam. <laughs> A 
It's like uh, music or the uh, nonstick spray. <laughs> you know, I've heard that so often, but from you, it sounds charming. Thank you. I am called Todd. <laughs> Ways and means number 21. Be exotic. We are a different color contact lens in each eye. <laughs> and then switch them several times throughout the evening. <laughs> it will confuse and disorient him. <laughs> 23. Bring a banjo to dinner, creating an air of whimsy. <laughs> I love it. But, uh, Bam, you've uh, seen me uh, every day for the week. Are you uh, not getting tired of me? I didn't think so. Well, uh, until tonight then, Bam. You know, th this is amazing. I should have tried this accent thing years ago. I still say this is not the accent, okay? This woman is an aberration. She's an accent junkie. <laughs> Probably go out with a Canadian. Excuse me, I have a delivery for Jack Richmond. Uh, I would be uh, happy to uh, sign for it. May I uh, use your bang? My what? Uh, how do you say? Your, uh, your, your bang. Oh, my pen. Yeah. Uh, forgive me, I have uh, only been in your country a short distance. <laughs> If you need someone to show you around, why don't you give me a call? Nobody knows this city like I do. Well, I will uh, do that very thing. <laughs> Adios. Vaya campoyos. <laughs> Thought you just told her to go with chickens. <laughs> and it still worked. <laughs> are my little Irma Bombex. Congratulations, sales are up 20% this week. Does this mean? No, it doesn't mean you get a raise, but it does mean that you get an all expense paid trip to KNSF Radio's Mike in the Morning talk show. He's a moron. With a huge audience. What does he want with us on the show? Oh, he doesn't want you, he wants the good doctors. Obviously, he liked the parody and he wants to have some fun on the air with it. Wait, wait, let me get this straight. We don't get the raise, and we have to get up at five in the morning? I don't think so. I will give each of you $100. Ha! You could have me for 50! <laughs> wait a minute, Jack. It is one thing to write this stuff down. It's another to come up with it off the top of our heads. What if we come across like complete idiots? Susan, this is Mike in the morning. It's not NPR. <laughs> Yesterday, he had a guy on who belts the Gettysburg Address. Oh, too bad. I was gonna fart the preamble to the Constitution. <laughs> All righty, joining me in the booth this morning are the authors of The Ways and Means of Catching Your Man, Dr. Sharice Phillips <laughs> and Dr. Miriam Pinky Weisenhofer. Hello, Mike. Lori from Novato, you're on with the man snaggers. Oh, yeah. Hi. Um, there's this guy at work I've been trying to get to notice me, so I used way number 31, you know, about falling occasionally to evoke sympathy. Well, I'm bruised, but he asked me out. Thank you. You guys changed my life. Well, thank you for calling, Mom, and just like the booze, it'll be our little secret. Line two. Hi, this is Jeannie. Hello, Hi, Jeannie. Jeannie. I'm 38, and I've never had a successful relationship. Ouch. Your article changed my life. Everything you said had such insight. Like way 23, bring a banjo to dinner. <laughs> They're taking us seriously. It's only two calls. Things. Well, so far, 42 women who love you and Lucifer from Danville who says we're all going to perish in flames. <laughs> well, let's see. We've got time for one more call, so let's take the carpoolers from South Bay. Alrighty, Diane, Carolyn, Lisa, and Tara, you're on. We love you. You guys are my heroes. Keep the articles coming. I'm doing way number 26 to the guy in the car next to us right now. <laughs> Which way is 26? <laughs> While driving? <laughs> 
Why didn't you just come out and say it was a parody? How could we? Jack, you heard those women. They were pouring their hearts out to us. You know what this is like? War of the Worlds. <laughs> and that kind of makes me Orson Welles. <laughs> I know that this started out as a joke, but I've been thinking about it all the way back from the station. Somehow, we have tapped into something we were not even aware of. Susan, listen to Pinky. We made it up! <laughs> I know that, but for whatever reason, it's working. I think we owe it to these people to continue. Well, I for one am announcing my retirement. Pinky's gonna go to the Betty Ford. <laughs> Fine, I will do it myself. These women need help. Susan, so do you. It's one thing to do a parody, and it's another thing to continue it when you know you're misleading the public. I'm not misleading them. Our advice helps. But you're not a doctor. So? Queen Latifah's not a queen. <laughs> well, then she's misleading the public, too. Not to mention all those subjects in Latifah land. <laughs> Now, I want an article putting this thing to bed, and I want it on my desk first thing in the morning. You'll get it when I'm good and ready. Which will be first thing in the morning. Hello there. <laughs> How are you? Fine. Good. My name's Lewis. <laughs> May I buy you a drink? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey there. No thanks. Sweet mother, he's right. Guantanamera, Guajide de Guantanamera. Okay, now you're taunting me. Please, I'm not taunting you. It's just sometimes my mind drifts back to my childhood in Oaxaca. Yeah, I'll give you Oaxaca. Toad. Bam, uh, <clears throat> what brings you to my uh, place of work? I need to talk to you. Uh, of course. How may I uh, service you? <laughs> oh, Toad. Dear, dear sweet Toad. Jace? It's over. Uh, what? I really like you, but we're from different worlds. I mean, look at you. You're exotic and mysterious. And from a, a culture I'll never understand. I mean, I'm American. Mini malls and the Brady Bunch. My parents are Berkeley hippies. Wait, wait, Pam, Pam that, that's great. We don't have a problem. Look, I just put on the accent thing. I, I'm from Berkeley, too. My parents are deadheads. We're perfect for each other. It is so sweet of you to try. And that American accent is very good. <laughs> the differences are just too great. Goodbye. Wait, Pam, what difference is you, you know, I'm as American as Taco Bell. You, you know, I, I've seen every episode of The Brady Bunch. When it's time to change you. <laughs> My friend, I, I think we both learned a very valuable lesson. I, for instance, have uh, learned that my accent uh, does make me uh, irresistible to women. <laughs> Just going to have to live with that. And you, Toad? Well, I suppose I've learned that I have to be myself. Or I can be mysterious and exotic with my own accent when I vacation in Brazil. Huh? No, no, thank you. Yes, Susan, Vicky, come on in. OK. Here it is, and it's the best damn writing I have ever done. It's all in there, how it started off as a joke, but then we ended up helping people. The laughter, the heartache. It sounds great, but I'm not gonna print it. What? You are going to say everything that you need to say live on the Rosie O'Donnell Show. What? She's in San Francisco next week, and she wants those local phenoms, the authors of the wildly successful ways and means to come on down! Oh my God, oh my God, Rosie wants me! 
dreaming! I'm not fucking dreaming! Ow! I'm not! It's real! I'm not there! There is no way that I am going on national television to admit that I'm a liar. Stay tuned for the Rosie O'Donnell Show, coming to you live this week from San Francisco. Today, Rosie's guests will be Chris Isaac, David Hasselhoff, and local authorities on love and romance, Dr. Sharice Phillips and Miriam Weisenhofer. What the hell? That's my ex fiance <laughs> You know what? We're still live and we're still in San Francisco. Open your gun again. Don't let no stranger wait outside your door. Everybody! San Francisco. Open your gun again. You'll let this one no one know the words. I'll do it alone. I don't need you people. Hey, our next guest waiting there are a couple of local gals who've created quite a stir with a series of articles called The Ways and Means of Catching Your Man. And hey, if it works in this town, it'll be a sure hit in the rest of the country. Please welcome Dr. Cherise Phillips and Miriam Pinky Wessenhofer. Hello, how are you? Hi, Pinky. Hi. Hello, Cherise, nice to meet you. Hey. Woo. Woo. Okay, you're on national TV. Where do you work? Where do you work? Come on and make Papa proud. Congratulations, all the acclaim you've been getting for these articles. And uh, listen, say I wanted to land. Oh, I don't know who. Let me try to think. Maybe uh, Tom Cruise. <laughs> How would I go about that? Well, well, Rosie, I would suggest way number 39. Get your own talk show. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, Pinky. That's a good one. But what about for those seven or eight people out there who won't be able to get their own talk show? What, what should they do? Well, Rosie, uh, before we get to that, there is something that I, I need to say about the genesis of our articles and the somewhat strange and circuitous route that it uh, took us to get to where we are today. Oh, um, shoot. We have, do we really have to discuss that now? We're trying to help Rosie land her Tommy, who is so wonderful and Top Gun and Jerry Maguire. Oh, I see something now. Yes, yes, yes. But before we do that, there was that other thing that we were supposed to do. No. Yes, no, you promised me. Well, I'm not going to be honest. No, what is it? Hello, ladies, excuse me. Rosie, host, how are you? Yes, uh, Rosie, well, uh, it's just that the, the, the truth is, you see, we um, have got something very... Hold it. Um, Took a lot of time. Got to do a commercial. Don't go anywhere, okay? Because I'm dying to know. I'm interested. Look at my face. I am. Okay, we'll be right back after this break. Don't go anywhere, all right? Thank you! Yeah, you know, just a sec. You know what? Can I say something? You are very funny. You are. Thank you, Rosie. Really? Crack me up. You, on the other hand, you need to loosen up a bit, okay? You know, it's a talk show. Funny, comedy, quick, light, circuitous. What does that mean? I don't even know. She likes me. Who cares? We were here to tell the truth. Well, she's right. You should really loosen up. I mean, come on. Oh, so, ladies, it's got an interesting bit of information from our stage manager. Seems there's a, there's a man over there who says that you guys are a couple of frauds. Kip. Susan. Susan? Who's Susan? Rosie, I'm surprised as you are. <laughs> you, get over here. Settle this. Come here. Susan, what the hell are you doing? Hey, 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 buddy. It's my talk show, okay? I ask the questions. Susan, what the hell are you doing? Well, it's exactly what I was trying to explain before. You All see, right, settle, people. We're back. In five, uh, four, sit down. Four, you sit. Four, 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 not there. Get over there. Get over there. All right. Hi. We are back, and we got a little surprise for you. Sure we do. This gentleman here claims that Dr. Charisse is neither a doctor nor a Charisse, okay? Which one of you is a fibber? Her name is Susan Keen. She's my ex fiance She ran out on our wedding, and she's the last person on earth who should be giving out advice on relationships. That is exactly what I was about to tell her. Honestly, Rosie, that's what I was going to tell you. I really was. Oh, really? Uh -huh. No yeah. kidding. Yeah. And I'm going to be doing the lead ballet in Nutcracker Suite this It's good. Thank you very much. I've been practicing. <laughs> Again, Rosie, I am completely in the dark about this. Oh, Vicky. <laughs> Vicky? <clears throat> Vicky? What happened to Pinky? I like Pinky better. This has turned into Sally Jesse Raphael. Jeez, don't go anywhere, all right? This is the reason I moved back to New York. People in California, you're wacko. We got a real guest coming up next, David Hasselhoff. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this.
Well, let's look at the bright side. Or at least I didn't mention the gate. <laughs> okay, ladies, let's go. Let's go. Can we at least go to the after show party? Uh, according to my orders, you can't even use the bathroom. <laughs> That's it. I am never sticking my nose in anybody else's business again. From now on, I'm keeping my big mouth shut. Oh, God, here comes Johnny. Oh, 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 Look, we already apologize. Hey, Doctor, Doc, can I ask you a question? Doctor? Didn't you hear anything that was said in there? We're not doctors. Look, you don't need my advice. It's all common sense. You can all do it on your own. Yeah, so anyway, um, I've been seeing this guy for three months now, and next Tuesday's our anniversary, and I don't think he remembers. Tell me what to do. Well, Pinky, <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> way number nine, huh? Yeah, absolutely, I'd yeah. say way number nine. Excuse me. Oh, 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 all right, all right, one at a time, one at a time. Come on, a line, people. Let's go, ten bucks a pop, and none of this HMO crap. We deal in cash. <laughs>